Hi everyone, I am Lindsay and welcome to Inside the Hem where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This holiday season I'm bringing you something special. It's 30 days of festive fashion. Every day we will explore a new garment sewing project idea to inspire your holiday wardrobe. Whether you're going for a cozy vibe, chic, or even a little bit glam, join me each day as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. Let's dive into today's project. For day three, I chose a jumpsuit because it involves both pant and bodice construction, which can take some time. Plus, the fitting of a jumpsuit should be given a little bit more attention to make sure that both the width and the length are correct. The good news about sewing a jumpsuit, though, is that once you're done, you pretty much have your entire outfit ready to go. It's an all-in-one outfit for easy elegance. We are going to look at two polar opposite styles today, edgy and chic and cozy and comfortable. But no matter your personal style, both of these jumpsuits are suitable for the holidays. When you think about edgy and bold style, you're going to lean towards leather, asymmetrical cuts, and darker hues. It's for those who like a little bit of rock and roll even during the holidays. So I found this black wing sleeve jumpsuit from wolf and badger for five hundred dollars and it just stuck out to me because it felt edgy but it also felt really kind of romantic and i thought that it would be an interesting take on an edgy holiday jumpsuit um, you can see here that they've just styled it really simply it's also known as a low rise so you can see that coming way down um not my favorite way to wear clothes so you'll see the pattern that i chose would eliminate that but what we're looking for here is really just the beauty of this bat wing sleeve um, kind of how it has that matte plus shiny fabric and just the drama of it all really um, and it is elevate your evening wardrobe with this 100 silk black jacquard bat wing sleeve jumpsuit featuring daring neckline playful silhouette ideal for cocktail parties and upscale events the open back with tie detail ensures you make a stunning impression with both style and grace which is really nice okay so the pattern for this would be the Zandra Rhodes Vogue pattern um, that was released what was this like two or three years ago I have this pattern I have yet to sew it up yet but it is a very loose fitting jumpsuit surplus bodice with contrast binding kimono sleeve aka batwing sleeve um, waistband with ties side seam pockets and flared leg with hem facings okay so taking a closer look at this you can see we still have the dramatic batwing sleeve we have the deep v although it's not as daring it's a little bit more practical for most of us um, we have this contrast waistband and ours has pockets which i don't think the other one does and then still a beautiful um, wide leg ours is actually even more wide leg if you look something's happening with the leg of this pant um, you can see hers is being like hiked up in some weird way i don't know what's happening with that but we would not have that problem with our vogue pattern there she is again and the cover again these are the only photos we're going to get okay great so here are our line drawings again we have contrast binding across the front um, around the neckline really and then our contrast band we have fabric recommendations of crepe de chine charmeuse rayon chalet and matte jersey um, but because we're going for something inspired by this, we're going to try and find some silk jacquard in just a second. Um, and then they're recommending China silk for the lining. We have alphanumeric sizing, so it's extra small to extra large. What does that mean in terms of sizing? No idea. This must have been the year that Vogue really just <laughs> gave us the least in terms of um, in terms of sizing. But what you're going to do is you're going to fit this to your waist first and then grade up or down to your bust and then to your hip from there. 
we really want the waist to fit first. Um, this notion here, this quarter inch elastic is probably for the neckline. It does create a really beautiful neckline that stays kind of, it, it stays close to your body. It hardly ever gapes. Um, I'm hoping that that's what that's for anyways. So yardage wise, we do need quite a bit, um, almost four yards for the largest size. Well, actually four yards for medium, large, and extra large. Um, and then jumps down to two and three quarters for the smaller sizes. Your contrast, you're also gonna need up to one and a quarter yards of that. And some interfacing, and then three quarters of a yard of lining. I'm guessing just for three quarters of a yard, I don't know what that could be actually. Um, it's not the whole bodice, three quarters of a yard. I don't know what, oh, or, no. The contrast binding? No, I don't know what the three quarters of a yard of that is for. Oops, I'd have to look at, I don't know what that three quarters of a yard is for. I would have to look at the pattern. Three quarters is not nothing, um, but it's not enough for this design either. So that's interesting. Okay, fabric wise, what you guys are all ready for, what you guys are all, Okay, fabric wise, I found this beautiful reptile inspired silk jacquard. It's navy, um, not black like the inspiration, but I think a midnight navy for the holidays is actually even a little bit more edgy. And then of course, reptile is a little bit edgy. Um, I just thought that this one was really cool and unique and the way that it would catch the light. Um, would be really beautiful for your holiday event. Now, obviously this is in bright, bright light, but you gotta imagine yourself, you know, at the event, at the party, it's nighttime, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But isn't that really beautiful? And then here it is again, just some more photos of it. The way the, these they take these photos with the lighting is really not not the most helpful, but it is a silk jacquard. Um, this is from Fabrics and Fabrics. They, when I think of silk, I think of Fabrics and Fabrics. They have a lot of silk jacquards if you're looking for something else. Um, it is 44 inches wide though. So now we have to go back to this and look at our 45 inch wide fabric. We need five yards of it. So it's not the cheapest project ever, okay, at $40 a yard, um, but it would be stunning. <laughs> You can obviously also eliminate the silk and look for a polyester type of fabric um, or rayon poplin would be great. It just wouldn't have the sheen that this one does. So, you know, take that for what you will. For all my comfy gals that like soft, warm fabrics, uh, like knits and flannels and love a good sweater, a good scarf and loungewear, I have a classic cozy idea for your holiday event. Okay, and for the casual girlies, I thought, why not make a pair of overalls? Um, very, very similar to a jumpsuit, but inherently more casual. This time we're playing with the casual style of the, of the overalls, but with kind of a luxurious fabric. So I found this velvet wide leg overalls um, from, where's this from? Freckled Poppy Boutique just a you know normal online boutique and it's described as ultra comfy velvet overalls that blend lounge worthy comfort with eye catching style which is i think exactly what you guys that really like to be comfortable are trying to accomplish whenever you're attending a holiday event really wide silhouette creates a flattering flow and the adjustable straps let you customize the fit blah blah, blah. we don't have to worry about that because we're making our own um, dress them down with a fitted tee and sneakers for coffee runs or glam them up with a silky blouse and heels for dinner dates. Um, okay, so here are some more photos of them. This one actually I don't think fits her very well at all. We're going to look at her. Hers fit really well. Um, uh, we've got her doing her Instagram live. Okay. right are you guys getting the idea of this like 
they're obviously comfortable to wear. I intentionally chose one that had a higher waist seam so that you can eat all the cookies you want. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Hang out by that snack table. It's fine. Um, it's got the pockets kind of built into that. The back, are they going to show us the back? I think it's just a traditional um, overall back, you know, with the little straps coming down. There it is in black. Yeah, so just our usual overalls happening here. Cute idea, right? Like this would totally be something suitable for a family event. Um, or like they said, you can jazz it up some. Like if this shirt were the same turtleneck style, but it had a little bit of like shine, like a like a metallic thread going through it or something, then it could be dressed up. You could wear a silk blouse underneath it. All of those options would make it suitable for something a little bit more dressy. These This feels a little more daytime. So does that one. The turtleneck really does, does a number for it. Okay, okay. So the pattern that I found is Simplicity 9382. So this is a straight leg. Okay, we're going to fix that. Overall in two lengths with shaped raised waist. This is what I was looking for mostly. Bib, back ties, buttons, and patch pockets. Has front pleats and slash pockets. So looking at the line drawings, you can see we have that same raised waist with the pockets built in. That was the kind of real design feature of this that I really wanted to capture. Altering things, we would just need to make this a wide leg. There is about 1,784 tutorials <laughs> for converting a straight leg to a wide leg on the internet. You can also grab another wide leg pant pattern that you really love and copy that from like the crotch line down and you would be able to achieve a wide leg there. The back is also pretty significantly different. I have this jumpsuit or this overall pattern and I've made it. I don't love the back if I'm being honest with you. I would rather it be um, like this one was. Let's go back to find it. Hold on. Oh boy. Okay, here it is. So I would rather it be this and that's not impossible to do either. You would just instead of doing these long straps, you would take these straps and you would attach them to something that looks like a trapezoid is that what that's called or like a pyramid with no point at the top <laughs> whatever shape this is <laughs> okay you would add that in place of this you would just sew it on like you normally would if you have any other overalls at all they probably have that as their back you can use those instructions um you would just need to do something so that you can get into them whether that is putting a zipper in the side whether that is putting buttons on the side is also really common um, you would need these to open up somewhere. And if you have that huge bib in the back, that full bib in the back, it would be kind of hard to get into them from the back. Um, the only other option I can think of is to make this a lot deeper. And that way you can just shimmy into them. But most commonly, you're probably just going to add a zipper to the side and that's how you're going to get into them. Okay, so if we look at this again, it does say that the fabric is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. So guess what I found? Poly span. Um, same exact uh, percentages as well. This one comes from Fashion Fabrics Club, known for being very affordable. So we've got a $12 a yard one. This is green, but stretch velvet is not hard to find. Um, you just want to make sure that when it talks about drape, we have some pretty good drape because of those wide legs. You know, we have all those pleats and so we don't want them to stand away from our body like a tent. We want it to drape down our body. Um, 60 inches wide. So we would save some money on yardage there. And yeah, not much else to say about stretch velvet. It kind of is what it is. You know, you guys know what stretch velvet looks like. If you wanted to add a little bit more glam to this, you could do pané velvet. You could do crushed velvet like um, I suggested in yesterday's bonus video that I posted on Instagram. Um, lots of different options there. So what do you think? Two very different jumpsuits for two very different parties and two very different personal styles. 
which one is more up your alley for this holiday season. Thanks for joining me for today's festive frog project. I hope it sparks some inspiration for your holiday sewing. Links to the patterns and the fabric options that I mentioned today are linked in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project when we will be looking at a classic pleated skirt that's perfect for a variety of holiday celebrations. I cannot wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion. Happy sewing!